All right, guys, next day, Nick here. Been a while since I've been on, but for good reasons. I, uh, been working <laughs> a lot of hours, and what you can see in this video is why I've been working a lot of hours. Here's my truck with my new mattresses in it, and my one pull barn, land, two pull barn, land, three pull barns, and attached two car garage. Yes, I'm a now a homeowner. I uh, purchased property and uh, real happy. I actually uh, signed it, signed the close night yesterday. I got fruit trees, a couple of them got cut down, but we can live with it. Pretty big back deck, half covered. Lots of room, finished basement. Lots of yard for the kids to run around in. Real excited. Um, it's really cool to be a homeowner, I'll say that. But now I definitely got something I gotta, I gotta work hard for to be stay a homeowner. <laughs> but this is what it's all yeah. about, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna be uh, starting a lot of hobbies and um, getting a lot of tools and doing a lot of stuff. I always wish I could and never really had a room. Can't see it here, but this is actually uh, someone I had to set up for a go kart track. They had tires and hay and stuff for curves. Probably do it again. Kids have fun on the go-kart track. Have no problem with that. Oh, this door's locked. Well, I get the key. Some more views. And also, those of you who don't know, I finished up school and became a designer. So that's what I do now. All right, let's come here. So here is my big empty, my largest pole barn. Got a lot of plans. Got a 220 power out here. Got a multiple 220 plugs. So I have no problem plugging in machine, machinery and whatnot. There's one there, one over there. Thought there was a third, but it might only be two 220 plugs in here. But lots of every other post has, you know, the 110s on it. Really tall ceilings. So definitely getting a hoist. I don't know if the hoist is being here or my front garage, my front um, pull barn. Close that door, Mari. Okay. Close the door too. Yep. <sighs> Always good when you got a yard big enough to get a workout in. <laughs> Speaking of workout, I've actually lost 42 pounds. Been uh, eating a lot healthier, working out a lot more, feeling a lot better about myself. It's been good. This is the middle pole barn here. Uh, some lights on. There we go. This one's heated, insulated. Uh, Pretty much already set up for the shop I want to turn it into. This could be a workshop. It's gonna be a workshop. This also has really tall ceilings. It's gonna be pretty good. And you see Omari, he's loving it. Some more walking. In the house, you know, I'm showing you my fair parts. <laughs> also love the house because it was basically moving ready. The new paint, new carpets, spotless clean, everything updated. Um, except for I don't have a refrigerator or washing dryer, so we're working on that now. I went and bought a little hard dollar mini fridge, so I got. <laughs> A mini fridge for now. Uh, got some mushrooms. 
Alright, the next pole barn. That one's locked or is it it's wiggly? I'm gonna have to wiggle it. Let's see. I think I gotta fix this lock because I'm not allowed to rest something I gotta fix. Hmm. Let's see what we gotta do for this one. There we go. Well, this one's once again really tall ceilings. <coughs> this one also has, as did the last shot, the 220 plugs. I think this one has two also, yep. One on either side so I can bring welders into any one of the shops or bridge ports or whatever I choose to do. Careful with the glass. This house is like a wiring job. This house is just awesome. Awesome wiring job. Huh. Range west, 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 west. Well labeled. Awesome job. Well, that's going to be it for today. I want to show the house in another video. I guess I can show the garage. Kids are having fun in the old barns. For now. <laughs> we uh, they also got it. Two car attached garage. Pretty cool.